Hey, howdy everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm recovering from losing my voice, so if I sound weird, that's why. It is what it is, deal with it, it's fine. Checking out the new Fit for an Autopsy album today, The Nothing That Is. This should be fun. Um, I have been a fan of Fit for an Autopsy for a while, since, uh, let me see, I think since The Great Collapse came out. I think, in my opinion, Oh What the Future Holds is their best album. And at first when I heard that album and I was blown away by it, I thought it might just be recency bias. No, it's been a little while. It's been over two years, about two and a half years since that released. And it is still my favorite album of theirs. It is incredible. It's a masterpiece. So I'm very interested to see how this new one stacks up to that. And all I know about this new one, I think the only single I listened to was Hostage. I didn't really like it that much. It just didn't stand out to me as much as some of the tracks off of Oh What the Future Holds. But it was still a decent song. It was still a fit for an autopsy track. It wasn't awful. And I don't know how the other singles are. And I'm interested to get into the full album. So let's check this out. Yeah, like it's not a bad track, it just doesn't really feel as unique as some of the other songs off their last album. This part's fun. Their album art is always so cool, too. This is kind of hitting more on a re-listen, yeah. I really like the song progression, too. The overall structure of it is really good. It's not super predictable. It's not boring. Yeah, I, I like it better on re-listen. I think it was mainly the little clean part that was like, um, the little... I've never been the biggest fan of like this kind of melody. Happens a lot in a lot of the music that I talk about that I say is like generic. Or something like that. I just I, I don't like that melody, like the the six to the five. It's not exactly a fifth focus chorus, which I've mentioned before in other videos. It doesn't exactly linger around there for too long, but it's just a lot of choruses in some generic metalcore and deathcore. Maybe deathcore not so much, but a lot of those choruses have that da da <clears throat> da 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 da. Uh, uh, see how low I can get. Uh, uh, okay, alright, I'm done. I'm done. Let's keep going. Spoils of the Horde. That's a title. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh, bro, he's on that symbol. He said the title. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's one thing I loved on their last album was all the breakdowns were so cool. This is so good. That was great. Please, more of that with the rest of the album. Savior of None Ashes of All. Was this a single? I don't know. It's in like 12 8 or something. Some sort of 8 meter. This is, this chorus is great. Oh, yes! Oh my goodness, that's so good. Oops. I wish my voice wasn't shot. I'd try to sing it. Let's keep going. Oh. Oh. There's that vocal flow coming in again. It's so peak. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so good. Hostage was just okay. Last three tracks, all very, very good. The 
This is too good, dude. This is too good. I'm gonna throw out my voice even more than it already is. What was that? He just spit on me? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I've never heard a spit in a breakdown before. First time for everything, I guess. That's three incredible songs back to back, dude. They can't fumble this now. There's no way they fumble this. You getting a ballad? If they fumble this, I'm gonna be so disappointed because this is this is so good so far. Oh my god, I have goosebumps! They're bringing in the fall riffs. You hear this again? This is so peak. Please. Oh! Oh my god, dude! Oh! I'm gonna cry! Oh my god, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I'm... I gotta take off my hoodie. I'm sweating, dude. This song is making me sweat. Yes! It's another Tom build-up. No shot. They're really doing this. Oh! That's what I'm talking- you hear that vocal flow? It's not- okay, when I'm talking- ah, uh, ah, uh, this is so good, this is so good! When I'm talking about flow, I'm not just talking about when something is, like, fast and- not like an Eminem flow, not like a very fast rap god kind of flow. That's- that's cool, but I'm more so just talking about how the- how the lyrics line up with the music, and it's- even more so about how you use the spaces between those little phrases that really makes it hit. For example, what just happened right here. This is so good. This is a, an example of like people who really, really know how to write good vocal parts. Like listen to the way the lyrics punch at this part right here. I don't know what the, what, do you, what did he say like into the pits the earth said into the pit the earth says something this like that is so good and it it makes the song so much more memorable than if he would have just like gone on and not like rhymed it in that specific way or like accented those little into the pits the earth says like that kind of stuff that's what makes them so good at their their vocal flow writing. It's unbelievable. That God closes oh. oh, the symbol work on that. It's so good. Wow. Oh my goodness, they're going with the emotional outro. This is such a beautiful emotional outro. That might be up there with higher level of hate as one of their best songs they've ever written. That is unbelievably good. Please let the rest of this album be as good as these past four tracks have been. This is evolution crashing down. That's another thing, like, the call-outs during the build-up to the intro or, like, the build-up to the breakdown, they don't feel cheesy, they don't feel uh, like they're using, like, the tropes of the of, like, core music. It's really well done and their their lyrics are always very very good they're they're all very like the ones that stand out to me the most are um i forget which song it, it it's one of the first songs off of what the future holds um where he's got he says like i, I think it's i think i'm pretty sure it's pandora where he says it's never too many graves it's, it's always not enough shovels or like hydra some man die die in the cold he slept in the streets. We left him there with nothing to eat. I'm pretty sure that's the first line. I think <laughs> I'm, I'm forgetting, uh, but like that that kind of stuff. Like there, it's always very like uh, very interesting lyrics telling these stories, that kind of stuff. And I can't wait to dive into the lyrical content here. I've said before many times that I don't really care about lyrics in a song. If they're bad, doesn't ruin a song for me. If they're good, it's just like, oh yeah, cool. That's that's cool. But there's a few bands whose lyrics I I really enjoy and I really get into, and Fit for an Autopsy is one of them. Like the messages of the lyrics and what they're talking about in these songs, and like the metaphor that they use, the metaphors that they use are are so good. Yeah. 
I love this drum pattern. Fifth Run Autopsy does that a lot, and then they they do like the and then they go into this, where it's a little bit more like chuggy and groovy. They do that a lot, and it hits every time. It's their formula that works for them. It's so good. That's such a haunting chorus. Wow. Yeah. Keep it mellow for a bit. Unless somehow these last four tracks suck, which I don't know how they can. This is one of my favorite albums of the year. Mmm. There it is. See? Now watch. It's their formula. So they do this, and then they're gonna go into a groovy drum pattern. Oh, some blast beats. There it is. They do that so much. I'll never get tired of it. It's so good. <laughs> oh. We look. That's so good. Listen to the... And they're doing this throughout the whole album. I haven't really talked about it. I've, I've glazed the vocals a lot. But this especially, I love when they do this with the vocals. Because... It'll it'll be like it feels closer to your ear, and then it'll move. It won't just be closer to your ear. It it'll start to like move far away. It'll feel like it's it's in both ears and like a chorusy effect. It's like it's doing a lot of stuff vocally. The the mixing and mastering on the vocals is so good. Oh, oh. I'm such a sucker for like hitting that symbol like that. I just noticed there there were lyrics to that. Beast! Mr. Beast! That was a single too, I guess. I'm glad I didn't listen to the singles because they would have made me realize that this album actually was going to be very good. So I'm glad I went here with lower expectations from Hostage. Again, I'm not saying Hostage is a bad song, but it just, it isn't as good as these. Because every song since Hostage has been amazing. I think retroactively this is going to make Hostage better. Because the rest of the album is so, so, so good. Here's this drum beat again. They're going to make it more groovy. After some blast beats. There it is. Oh my goodness. Dude, those triplets are unbelievably cool. I love how keep uh, ah, I love how chill they're keeping this little intro part here. Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh! Here comes it! Yeah! There's this part again. Maybe throw some blast beats in there. There, there they are. Now make it more groovy. Here we go. Yup, never gets old. Dying away to that little piano bit. That's so good. I, I'm not going to say no album is perfect, because I think there are some perfect albums. For example, Mastad und Vatten. However, this is pretty near perfect. I think the only thing that I have to um i have to say is like a slight negative for me is that when there were some of like the pure cleans like at the very end there and like a little bit in hostage and like a few other parts scattered throughout when there were the pure cleans and they weren't like the screamed cleans i i think they weren't that memorable i think they they could have been a little bit better melodically but that's really the only thing that i can even think of that i could give this a negative for I think that's the main reason I didn't like Hostage mostly, but it was it was still good. Hostage is my least favorite track, but every other song after that was incredible. Especially, especially Red Horizon. Red Horizon and then like the We Lurch in Lurch is so good. This album's incredible. I'm I, I have to give this a masterpiece. I have to give the, I have to give this masterpiece. Now remember, these are tears. 
So I'm not saying that every album that I put in the masterpiece tier is a flawless masterpiece album that's like perfect in every way, no flaws. I'm just saying that I have these six tiers and that I'm putting this in masterpiece tier. I had to name it something, so I named it masterpiece. I could name it like unbelievably good albums and it would mean kind of the same thing to me. So, but yeah, that's, that's what this is. And like I said, I'm really glad I only heard hostage because my expectations weren't that high for this album and it blew them out of the water. But I would say that this is at least, at least a top two album for me from them. I don't think it's better than Oh What the Future Holds at this moment in time. We shall see. But I think this is possibly their second best album. I think it's better than Sea of Tragic Beasts and Great Collapse. And I never really got into that, any older stuff past or before that. But I think this is like, out of those four albums, this is number two, at least. Thanks for watching. Let me know your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the album. Let me know what your favorite track is all that kind of fun stuff, and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for the support, everybody, as usual. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.